Kalanyemi, the heart of Lapland, 2005. People were living their lives peacefully, completely unaware of two brothers who would found a magazine that would revolutionize Laplanders' understanding of journalism and media. In the beginning of the new millennium, Rovaniemi and Lapland were in a desperate need of a youthful new media. The existing papers of the time were boring and resembled each other a lot. Besides, the other free zines, free magazines, littering the stands had absolutely nothing genuinely Laplandish in them. An attempt to create a new kind of paper had already been carried out when local businessmen Simo Roivainen and Urho Niemela had founded a paper called Rolo Magazine, or RMZ, in 2004. The paper, like its name, was full of shit and kept on going only for seven issues before going down in flames. But as short as its history was, the first steps toward a new fashioned print medium had now been taken. From the ashes of RMZ would now arise a new magazine. A magazine those two brothers would father, Roihu. Topi, a former and somewhat successful sports professional, both in snowboarding and breakdancing, wrote a journal of his travels to a certain free zine without ever getting paid for his work. Nevertheless, writings had ignited a spark in Topi's heart, and now that spark would set him on a new course. This course would change his body language to a written one. At that time, the younger brother, Yako, a total failure as a skateboarder, insisted on calling himself a photographer. Having already worked with RMZ, he had at least some kind of experience with printed media. But as it would later turn out, his biggest skill was the ability to sell ice cream to Eskimos. In the end, then, what was the driving force behind the brothers' enthusiasm to answer Lapland's urgent call for a new kind of youthful Me media? Huomasin siinä opiskelujen ohessa, että täällä kävi aika paljon aikaa nuo lehtihommat sitten, niin päätettiin, että perustetaanpa nyt sitten oma lehti. Vaikka onkin hankalaa asioita, mitä ei osata, niin, niin tuntuu, että tässä voisi olla hyvä, niin kuin, hyvä saava lähteä tekemään jotain omaa, omaa juttua ja siitä sitten taas vastaavasti saa ehkä jotain semmoista hyvää ihmisille ympärille. Besides, a general manager and an editor, the paper needed a graphic designer and a sales manager. Urho Ursi Niemela, already a familiar face from RMZ, became the sales manager. Whereas another familiar RMZ veteran, Antti Steam Ahonen, would man the post of graphic designer. Of the four, Steam was the only one with any kind of real education on the field of printed media. We are going to go to the house and see what we can do. We are going to go to the house and see what we can do. We are going to Saumaatella hommalle ja keksi. kehitettiin sitä sitä eteenpäin, että okei, jaettiin vähän töitä ja mietittiin, että, 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 että tämä olisi hyvä homma ja lähin, lähin sitten mua. If Topi and Jaakko are called the fathers of the paper, it's justified to call Antti and Urho the mothers of Roy. The core group of four had now been put together. It was time to publish the first issue. 